health center dedicated to serving thousands of people close suddenly today in Muskegon Heights. And when it did, we heard from you, a lot of you. You messaged us on Facebook, you called our newsroom asking what happened. Tonight, Lakeshore reporter John Mills is on your side with some answers. Muskegon Family Care patients tell me they're disappointed the facility is closing and also that the facility didn't call them today to cancel appointments. Kimberly Showers was turned away at Muskegon Family Care Friday. They told me that they're closing, which I'm upset about. She tells 13 on your side the facility didn't call to cancel her appointment. On Facebook, MCF only posted it's having phone problems due to a large number of calls, nothing about a closure. I am not happy about it. And State Representative Terry Sabo isn't happy either. I, uh, I feel for those patients, not only today, but uh, going forward as well. Sabo says in recent weeks, area health care leaders have been meeting and strategically planning for a reduction in services at MFC or a possible closure. They've been intensifying as time has went on because I think everybody agrees that the number one concern here needs to be the patients themselves. Other regional health care providers wanted to be ready for what could be the transfer of around 20,000 patients. Sabo says he has indications state and federal agencies are looking into practices at the facility. Calls from 13 on your side to state police and the federal department that provides taxpayer dollars to this facility were not returned in time for this report. In December, MFC's leadership changed when longtime president and CEO Sheila Bridges was terminated and escorted out of the building. That action after MFC's board of directors completed an internal investigation. MFC provided a variety of health care services regardless of a patient's ability to pay. And I'm concerned about uh, how they're going to receive that care uh, that they need going forward. My nieces go here, I go here, my best friend, I just, everybody goes here. More information on this story is available right now on 13onyourside.com. Muskegon Family Care was the second largest employer in Muskegon Heights with around 200 employees. In Muskegon Heights, John Mills, 13 On Your Side. Congressman Bill Heisinger's office sent us a statement about the problems at Muskegon Family Care. A spokesperson says his office is aware of what they describe as a gross abuse of taxpayer dollars and corruption. The statement goes on to say the congressman will continue to monitor the situation and make sure appropriate safeguards are taken to protect residents.